Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm going to show you today how to use the B402 in conjunction with a Novation Nocturne controller. Um, I'm testing the auto map settings that come with this. If I go to Auto Map Universal Interactive Help and hit my user instrument, under instrument you'll see it's showing my clients up here. It should, you'll see the controller move here, it should auto map automatically to it. But let's get out of here. We're going to go to MIDI. Make sure, oh, see, it's off. Make sure it's on. And make sure this is all good. Audio is my sound card. OK. Unfortunately, I don't have a keyboard hooked up right now. Um, but I can play it from my host keyboard here. So what you're hearing is coming from my uh, nice Dell computer keyboard that came stock with this. So let's see if I can control this real quick. Oh yeah, there are my drawbars. Now if I page through here, there will be even more control. I don't know if the crossfader, it doesn't look like the crossfader is set up to control anything. And my buttons should also hit the switches on the left side there. If I go through the pages again, should have maybe more control. It just depends on the plugin. It looks like this one is page one and two only. Control. Now, if you want to manually set this up, you can go to setup. And you can go through and assign which of the CC values it is connected to. And to view what those actually are, you can go to Auto Map Universal, Interactive Help, Hit your user control, and you can see per page what, what the setup's like. So, for example, go to page, where's page one? Page one. So, the B4, B24, uh, I can organize by CC so I can see what the hell's going on here. And it's still not organizing it the way I want to. There we go. Okay, so my rotator speed is number one here. So like this guy, controlling the rotator speed, check that out. So, so if I'm going back into here, uh, let's see, we have distance. So all this stuff is on the back. But if I go up the line, you'll see all my draw bars are kind of together here. Uh, the 12 through 36 block. So as I scroll through my pages, I should be able to, like this whole section should technically be my draw bars, but the problem you'll notice is these buttons are also the draw bar assignments, which means you're not going to get a normal draw bar control. So let's, with that knowledge, go back to here. Now check this out. Okay, yeah, see that? Those are my buttons doing that. So you're playing, like you got some jams going on some church jams, and uh, see I'm turning the vibrato on and off over here. So these two work the way they're supposed to, but these should not be assigned to draw bars. So I go to setup, and I want to go to learn. So let's say draw bar. I want my lower draw bar to be this dude right here. Go to learn, see now it's 16 learn, 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 learn. So now I should be able to go back to here and all of these draw bars that were previously Assigned to buttons should be on my knobs. It looks like I missed a few, but you get the idea of how this works. Now, flipping it around to the back side, we should also have some controls that are open here. See if I scroll through my pages, get a few different things popping up here and there. Stuff. If I go to my mixer here, uh, click on my client. This is uh, control 8, 9, 10, 11, so I need to go back to my setup figure out where that's all following. 
balance, travel speed. What about the cabinet? Cabinet select. This is like one through five here. Let's go back to my auto map, figure out where one through five are at. Well, it looks like one through five are all knobs. So uh, going back to page one, just to make sure I'm in the right place here. You can switch toggle view by hitting this as well, just for your information. Should be able now, using the power of MIDI, to uh, be on the correct page. OK, there we go. So going back here, I should now be able to control. That's my brake. This is my rotator. Which means my cabinet. Ah, there we go. Cabinet select. And oh, this is, serves as a mouse as well. Check that out. And then I can do tube amplifier volume. If I move up the line, I should. It goes back to my draw bars. Let's find out where the tube amp drive is at. It looks like it's connected to this drive down here as well. Set up a uh, tube amp drive. There it is, 76. So I can hit learn. I'm going to just assign it to whatever control I have here, 87. All right and go back and we'll see what happens. There's my drive. All right, well that's it for controlling the B4 by Native Instruments with the Novation Nocturne. Gives you a pretty good rundown of how to control an instrument and assign your own custom controls using this and the AutoMap software. For now though, I'm Bill Holland and you've been watching GearWire.com.